Welcome to sunny Brooklyn where we're quarantined on my balcony. Today we're going to talk about making a CPAP device out of common items that you'll find in your respiratory closet. We have a typical nebulizer, a peep valve, and a CPAP mask. And then the scissor from a suture removal kit. Let's get started. We're going to open up our nebulizer device. Keep all the parts because you're going to use a bunch of them. First, we'll start by opening up the nebulizer, taking out the nebulizer device, and you'll see that there's a little tiny hole in the nebulizer. We want to open that up to get full flow of oxygen. We'll take our scissor, put it in the hole, use it like a drill, and take out that hole to make it bigger. Doesn't matter if you crack it, as long as the hole is nice and large and you can get full flow of oxygen through it. We'll now hook up our respiratory tubing that goes to the wall. Get it on there nice and tight so it doesn't pop off. Close up the nebulizer. Hook our T-piece to it. On the bottom, we're gonna put the tube from the nebulizer. This is going to give us a line to put the peep valve on. Put the peep valve device on there nice and tight so it doesn't pop off. And you can see here that you can dial up whatever peep you want. Attach the mask to it. Put a little bit of silk tape around there just to make sure if it doesn't pop off. Hook this to wall oxygen and you're good to go. Everything is set for a nice wall-mounted CPAP device. We call this device the Silverberg Snorkel because you can't get coronavirus underwater.